Okay, everybody, welcome back to Roommate Rivalry. We're going to be getting into our final segment here. We're going to be talking about NFL. We're, we're, we're not going to be getting into the breaks. We're just going to roll right through. We're going to give, give you everything. The week two recap, the week three preview. Um, biggest takeaway from week two. We, we can all go around with something that, that really stood out, but I think that um, we, we all kind of got to speak about there were three significant quarterback injuries. Um, Tony Romo goes down earliest he can return is week 11. Drew Brees, some reports say he's missing several weeks. Some people say he might play next week. So oh, Drew Brees him. up in the air. The saddest part, though, is I don't know if it matters because the Saints look horrible within the first two weeks. Thank you. Matt Stafford. Now questionable, took a beating in that game against Minnesota, and they're not sure how much time he'll have to miss. And the Lions already, you know, on the back burner, getting off to an 0 2 start, a, a a rough start to the season that I don't know how many people really saw that coming. So, three teams. Also, there's another one too. There's another quarterback. Did you say Jay Culler? No, because um, he's a, he's no. I mean, the thing you expect. He's, he's a big name, so no, he's a big name, and in all honesty, I think that maybe locks them into the number one pick. No. But, th- but that's what that's what you expect. No, Jay Jimmy, if Jimmy Clausen is playing every game. No, he, well, he's supposed to only be out. Oh, for well, two no, weeks. no, it's only like a hamstring thing, right? Yeah, yeah be back. two weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's not that severe. But um, but he's always down. So you know, four big quarterback injuries. I think, you know, two I would say stand out more than the others because the Saints kind of look like a lost cause. Mm-hmm. The Bears were a lost cause. Mm-hmm. Lions with Stafford and the Cowboys with Romo. Um, quickly on the Stafford thing, I'll, I'll, I'll just give my, my shake of it. Um, I just don't understand how... how Wait, how team... long is he out for? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, like, I, I, I didn't hear about this till. Like... I, I'm going to quickly try to pull it up. I'm not sure how long, but even as, as the, the Lions as a team in general have I've just been off to a... Just such a bad start, and, and a team that is has as many weapons as any team in the entire NFL. Um... If Stafford isn't going to be playing for, for any type of significant time, I, I really think that that is going to put this team in, in a in, in a very very bad position. And, and I think they're already in a bad position. And I, I, I'm saying yeah. in, in an even worse position where I yeah. think they're going to be finishing sub 500. And I don't think and I don't see any way that they could bounce back from that. If Stafford misses four weeks, I say they finish under 500. I mean. I expected. I, I think I had them third. In you the did division. have them third. You didn't think they were so as I don't good think, as, as. Yeah, so I'm. I'm not really shocked. So, I even yeah, with you Calvin, you're picking them with a healthy Stafford. I mean, oh, now that yeah, without Stafford, I still think they're gonna. Oh wait, who else is in? It's the, the Bears. Yeah, so the, yeah, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna do worse than the Bears. So <coughs> they're in the third there's spot. No, there's nothing on his injury. They say he's un, just uncertain. For this week, so I mean, so oh, if he's out, then maybe yeah. maybe it won't be that th- bad. I think his like the least serious of all of them. Yeah, so, I mean that's good then, and <laughs> and hopefully he doesn't miss time. Like, everyone else has like more of a timetable. Like yeah, but the thing said. with Drew Brees, I Drew, thought he was gonna be out, and then Drew I Brees, saw today it, it, he said there's a reasonable possibility that he will play next uh, week. I saw today he's like gonna be out several weeks. I don't know. That. That's the thing. I saw that I too. So I, I mean, saw Romo could be the year or eight weeks. Like, <laughs> so I guess it's like at least eight weeks for Romo. That's no, I think I think it's eight weeks. Romo's, he's not getting surgery done either. He's he got put on IR. That means that means yes. earliest he comes back is week eleven, and I think that that is the one that needs to be spoke about the most. Let let's uh, I'll quickly recap for anyone who's been uh living with Patrick under a rock. SpongeBob reference. Um, Redskins uh-huh. have the second best record in the division. They're one and one, and that's ridiculous because. They're nice. The, the Redskins are not good. <laughs> They're nice. Uh, the don't even Giants, know their back name. <laughs> the Giants have handed a pair of victories over, and they are now zero and two. Hmm. The Eagles have played two and a, two quarters and a drive of good football, and outside of that, they've looked unwatchable. The Dallas Cowboys have found a way to win, and they're two and zero, but they lost. DeMarco Murray in the offseason. Des Bryant for no one knows how long. <laughs> eight weeks, ten weeks, eleven weeks, four weeks, the season. Don't know. They're, I, think they're all, I guess they're all at least eight weeks. De, 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 but Des they is keep, gone they for They keep now. bumping up Des, though. And then, Romo's gone. Brandon Whedon's taken over. <laughs> Joseph Randall and Darren McFadden are taken over. And Terrence Williams, the new man in town. Get Dunbar. By the way, Jason Witten also is like 86 years old. He's got uh, two sprained ankles and a sprained knee, apparently. Yeah, yeah. You saw what they just got, right, the Cowboys? 
Yeah, Matt Castle. They got Matt Castle. They traded for Yeah, Matt you, you also see who contacted them to come back to play some football at the age of 41. Randy Wide Mark? receiver. Oh. Wide receiver. Randy Moss. I don't know. That's actually close. Rand- what was it? Terrell Owens? Yeah. yeah was Terrell Owens tried to reach out to come back. I hope he does come back. Tom, you, Tom, does that uh, pique your interest? Come on now. None of that. No. What? I'd Teal's take, nice. I'd, I'd take a, take better, a, than, better than Beasley. <laughs> I'd rather take a, like a Reggie Wayne. Over a, that's uh, true. That's fair. Uh, yeah. We're talking about old players. Yeah. No, that's true. You know? yeah, that makes I'll take Reggie Wayne too. I don't know how effective someone's going to be without Tony Romo being quarterback. So now looking at this division, okay, <laughs> it just looks terrible. It's up in the air now. I think it's it's really, the I, I know who's the best yeah. team. What? Best team in the division is the Giants. Best team in the division. Or at least second. So, so based on what? No. I'm just curious. They, they honestly looked the best until the fourth quarter, which obviously is a big thing. Quarter, it's like three minutes. Yeah. Left. Okay. Three yeah. Left. Exactly. They honestly looked the best out of all those teams. Cause well, okay, the Cowboys looked good, but they lost their two stars. So I'm not gonna say the Cowboys. If the Cowboys were healthy, I would stick with yeah. the Cowboys. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking the Giants. I think the Giants are the best team in the division now with all the injuries going on. They played. They played really. They the past two weeks played really well, and they just didn't finish. And they will finish. I feel like. I feel like it's not gonna. If it's three in a row, then that's crazy. I feel like the Giants are a team that. I don't know how they have one of the. Oh, even though Camardi's. They, gonna they be have. Out. They have a veteran quarterback. He, he he is. He's a veteran. He's been here for so long, and he somehow. I, I mean, it's not all him his fault, but it always seems like he he's making like rookie mistakes. They're always just losing late games. He, and I, I don't understand it. I just feel like the Giants don't do the things that winning football teams do. Um, I don't think it's yeah. It's not all Eli too. Cause, no, no, because even not Eli. There's, no, because because even if they okay, so say the the um, the Falcons game, mm-hmm. he did drive them up the field, brought them to whatever. Mm-hmm. He made a mistake. It's a defense. The defense is supposed to stop them. That's what you, that's what you get paid. You know what I'm trying to say? Like oh, say absolutely. say the defense stops them. No one say anything about Eli being dumb. Like it was in the paper. No, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. It's it it goes. It's a team. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like as a team, they just don't do what winning. I just feel like I feel like one side of the ball never picks up the other well, side. To be honest, I think the division's nothing now. So that's why I think they're gonna. Tom, I mean. Can Brandon Wien and do it? I, I mean, he was seven for seven with a touch. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't. It means nothing. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't. I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. But you got to look at it. I mean, you can't expect – he's not going to be throwing for 300 yards. Okay? I'm expecting a lot of checkdowns. Okay? A lot of checkdowns to, to Randall and to Dunbar. Mm-hmm. Okay? A lot of little dump-offs. You saw Romo doing a little bit. Okay? I expect Witten to, to get a lot of, a lot of touches. And, and Colby is in the slot. I don't expect – I expect – him to rely on the offensive line to give him time and to just put the ball, put the ball in his feet. You know, you know what, you know what stinks. Um, he's he's gonna be going against the Jets, right? Mm-hmm. Next game, and then the Patriots. The Patriots yep. He's not gonna be going against Maxwell, who is trash. Maxwell is the most overrated <laughs> quarterback. Osama. I don't think he's overrated because Nandi Osama was considered top three cornerbacks. No 100%. one said Byron Maxwell was top three. Yeah, with, he the, just, with the money he's making, too. He yeah. just got paid a ridiculous amount because the Eagles needed to sign a cornerback. Yeah, because that's bad. I mean, their secondary couldn't get much worse. It's, it's The secondary's not worse than it was last year. He's just not that much better, in all honesty. But the defense actually of the Eagles has played good, outside of Byron Maxwell. Yeah, but now no Kiko. Kiko, no Kendricks, too. And Possibly. Maxwell's not, so... I kept writing, I wrote Kiko's, Kiko's going for a second opinion. We're, we're going to... I read, yeah, I read, I'm going to... Possibly out the whole year. Yeah. I, I, I read he's going for a second opinion. <laughs> you never know what they're going to tell him. Um, Tom, mm. what can... Can, can you got... They get, they're off to a 2 0 start. They've won two games in the division. Yep. You, you think they can hold it off for the next no. 10 weeks? Nine weeks? <sighs> I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle, no no doubt about it. Um, but what you know, what I'm happy with is the defense is playing well. Look at the Cowboys' defense. No, it is. What, what did they give up against the, the, the Eagles? Really, three well, points. The Falcons, next. They gave up a touchdown at the end of the game mm-hmm. to Matthews, but That's three points chance. against the Eagles, which you know, give to the Eagles offense isn't you know playing the way it's supposed it's to be playing, playing atrocious. right? But 
You know, they got Sean Lee back. Sean Lee's all over the field. He's, Sean Lee, he's, he's I all over the field. after the first two weeks, is on the top of the leaderboard for tackles. I mean, he's all over nice. the field. You know, if he stays healthy, obviously. And then, you know, week four, we get Gregory back. So, I mean, Hardy back. Um, you know, the Cowboys' defense is looking good. And hopefully that the offensive line can stay strong enough to give Whedon some time to find someone open. And Whedon doesn't make stupid mistakes. If there was one team that scared you, one team you think that has the chance to maybe pull away with the division, who's that team? Or or is there no is there no team? I mean, I still think I still think the Eagles. The Eagles can get their stuff together. The, I mean, because what the Eagles are doing doesn't make sense. It's not, it's not it's not adding up. Something's not adding up, and that's what there's there's uh, one, there's one name that the, it's not it's not adding up. It just doesn't make who's sense. That? Chip Kelly. You gotta get rid of him. Absolutely not. That's completely. That's completely this this that's offense so stupid. To say no, it's that. not. This offense does not work in the NFL. Yeah, it does. It's no, it worked. Doesn't. It's worked the first two years. What's happening is that there's brand new pieces. They're starting two brand new and that's offensive his fault. parts. It's, how is that his oh, fault? How about giving away McCoy, Wait, Macklin? Who? Oh, he, oh, you're saying okay, chip. Listen, him getting rid of all of those players obviously is not the thing. But you were commenting on his offensive system. I don't the think it works in this system, NFL. It's worked the first two years. It's gotten off to a slow start because, first of all, the two guards that are replacing Mathis and Harriman's get blown back every play. Yeah, DeMarco Murray, good. I don't care how good the Cowboys offensive line is. DeMarco Murray has 11 yards in the first two games. The Eagles offensive line is not giving him anything to run towards. Anything. Sam Bradford is pressured. He's not hitting anyone in stride. Jordan Matthews well, but dropping balls all well, over the field. They're, they're not... Playing the way that they're supposed to. In all honesty, there are three positions that are truly concerning. And if they could somehow get a bit of consistency out of them, they have a chance to really turn things around. The two offensive guard slots and Byron Maxwell. Kind of giving up on Byron Maxwell. Roddy White burned him. Terrence Williams burned him. Because <laughs> yeah, Julio will do whatever he wants. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, the line looks really bad. I, I feel like every time DeMarco Murray got a hand he, gets, off, he, he, he was I don't touched know if he right ever away. He gets touched like before the line of sc- No, that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like as soon as uh, Bradford hands it off, he's already tackled. Yeah. Like already touched. So the line looks really bad. But yeah, Maxwell obviously has have as we've been saying, doesn't look good and doesn't look like the player, uh the multi million dollar player or whatever. Sixty three. And um I don't think okay, even when Bradford is is not pressured, there was some throws that were just like what? Yeah, no, he, he's missed. He, he's missed. Like there was throws. one throw, like I think yeah. Matthews and someone was just standing there, and he just threw it down at the ground, and then he overshot. I mean, you can't like with your team struggling. He he needs to step up and make so make Absolutely. those passes. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I agree completely. I mean, it's, it's it's only the second week, but if this continues, when when finally they do have the offensive line blocking for Bradford, he's got to make the plays. Yeah. Th- those those last drives by the Eagles. Look, why can't they do that the whole game? You know what I'm trying to say? The entire second half against the Falcons. How, but how, that last how, drive, too. Did yeah, you see the way he, he was throwing beautifully? Jordan Matthews got well, a touchdown. Well, it's, I understand it was, it was crunch time and maybe the Cowboys no, not but, playing as yeah, hard. But, but the Eagles were. But, that's, but it's not the, just. The offensive machine yeah, that they're yeah. supposed to. It's be. not just that that game. It was the game before, too. You know what I'm exactly. trying to say? So that's why it's it, it shows that, okay, maybe something could happen. To, to me, I, I feel, though, that, like. I feel that the Eagles still have the potential to be a really good football team if they can somehow put together four quarters. They haven't put together three quarters of good football, let alone four. Yeah. If they can find a way to play good, a good four quarters, I think the Eagles actually ha- have that potential. I mean, it kind of helps that the division isn't really. Well, yeah, now that well, yeah. the, fact, the fact that Romo and Dez are... I mean, are yeah. I mean, the two, Giants, two I would say, is their biggest threat. No, or maybe the one and one Redskins. <laughs> does, does anyone here think the Redskins have a chance? No. Division's bad. I, I'm not saying. No, but that's why I, I feel like the Eagles and the Cowboys will find ways to win games. That's I, how I feel. I, I, I wouldn't I, count the Redskins out, though. No, I wouldn't count them out. Do you think? Uh, so the team that wins the division, mm-hmm. nine and seven or better, eight and eight or eight and eight or, or seven and nine. Eight and eight or lower. Uh, yeah, the high is nine. nine and seven. I don't see you going past that. No one's winning ten games this year. Nah, I don't even see nine. I really don't. I think that I think that it will still be at least. I, 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 I guarantee that someone will be over five hundred. Mm. I think ten and six. I think ten. ten I think six. Who's going ten and six? Who's going ten and six? Who's going ten and six? I think either the team will find ways to win. I think the Cowboys will find. Who's going ten and six? Okay, You're gonna go ten and six without ten weeks of Tony Romo. Watch. 
Okay. That I don't know about sense. that. We're find ways to win games. That I'm makes telling no you. Way. No sense. No, no Brandon Wheaton. Brandon Wheaton's horrible. When, when Roman went down, what was the score against the Eagles? What was the score? Wait, who's going to Wait, you're saying the Cowboys can go 10 and 6? It's 13 and 3. Yeah, Brandon Wheaton has to play whole games now. He's not coming for right. 10 minutes. Not even. All right, I'm, I'm saying that I'm not. I'm saying they're gonna find ways to win games. You guys still don't even have a number one running back. But how are they finding ways to win games? Like what's well, what's the, finding the defense the and and using what they have on offense to their advantage. Okay, so so using their using their offensive line to help them out so much. So so Whedon is. I don't think Whedon's gonna be under much pressure. I mean, he, uh, he will you know at some points, but he's gonna have to be smart. He's gonna have to just check down. Yeah, Whedon, 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 Whedon doesn't get away like Tony Romo does. Whedon's not a scrambler. He's gonna get sacked. He's not gonna scramble like Romo does. Does he have that elite pocket presence though? No. Well, that I think he's been a backup his entire career. I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he got drafted at the age of twenty nine. <laughs> how, no, how old is he? No, he's, he's, he's like he's thirty, old. probably. Old? Yeah, yeah, he's like thirty. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see them going ten and six because. No chance. I think if the, I mean, and I'm, be, I'm really not being biased. I'm being honest. Like they, ten and six. If they can, if they can figure it out, you have, yo, you have to really look at their schedule. They're not playing good teams up until December sixth when they have to go to Foxborough. That's the only well, they have to play thing. the Jets next week. Who the Jets? You have to give credit. They have, they have looked good. So, but they're not playing like. So wait, they play the Jets next week. They can start 0 three. They could beat the Jets. But they, but they do can. Do you think lose. they will? Be the, I don't. I do I don't, think they'll beat the Jets. I really I don't know. think the Jets defense looks looks nice. Right? Yeah, I think that they're going to beat the Jets. I, I think that I, I truly believe that. The I mean, I don't, I don't know how you, I don't know how you say that. Because they because okay, if the if the line is playing bad against the Cowboys defensive line and who else did they play? The Falcons oh. defensive line. The Jets have a, so yeah. much better defensive line. No, I understand have that. So much better corners. I I I, I, I don't know about that. I, think, I, think, I don't know think, what you can I see. Really, I think the Eagles play a good four quarters of football. I'm not saying they can't win, but well, they can they can play good know. and still lose. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't think I think that that team. If they play four good quarters of football, it's not going to lose to the New York Jets. If they play four good quarters? Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, if they play, yeah. If they play good, the all four quarters, they I mean. No, but, like, because cause teams can, like, two teams can play well, and then one team has to win. What I'm trying to tell you is that if an Eagles team that plays good four quarters wins that game by... by well, what was really, what would really help the Eagles? Maybe Eric Decker out. And they're like third string. They're gonna have like I don't even know. They're just gonna have Brandon Marshall and someone else. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. That's and it. Chris Ivory too would have been about he, de- he didn't. Yeah, and I mean that that could maybe help them, but I don't know. I think the Jets actually. I'm giving the Jets credit. I think they have a pretty good team right now. They're oh, yeah. rolling. They're rolling with it. That's why. Now I guess we'll we'll we'll, we'll try to, we'll try to do a quick segue o- outside of the NFC East, um, and just and all these quarterback injuries. One thing you've seen just around the NFL that's caught your eye, that's really um, stood out to you at, th- through these first two weeks of football. Um, I, I, you want to start? Yeah. Go ahead. I didn't give enough credit to the to the Bengals. Thank you. But not not for nothing. The Bengals. You're not what? I'm not saying anything about the Bengals. No, no. I'm, I'm just saying I didn't give enough stuff. credit. Chargers came out blazing against the Lions. Put up how many points? 30-some points, right? They were held to, what, 16, 13 <coughs> against the Bengals. That I thought the defense wasn't as good. Um, Andy Dalton's looking nice. Five touchdowns, no picks. Yeah, he's looking nice. And even when Jeremy Hill, the, the number one running back, fumbles twice, Giovanni Bernard Giovanni Bernard steps up, and they have someone else back there to win the game for them. 189 yards, actually. So, game. to be honest, I think the Bengals look really good right now. And, yeah, I didn't give him enough credit. I think that's fair. Um, I, I I know I, I have to give Carson Palmer a world of credit. Hundred percent. Eight and zero uh, with the Cardinals. I, I looked at it today. He's fifteen and two in his last seventeen games. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking a really healthy good. Carson Palmer. The Arizona Cardinals might be one of the better teams in football. I mean, I, I'm not gonna go. Defense too, still solid. I'm not gonna go too crazy just yet. I, I'm I'm not. I'm not gonna full fledged buy in. Like, and I know oh, you. Yeah, I know yeah. you're, you're. You really feel like this team like ha- has it. Um, but but I have to just give them their credit. Their their two and zero start. I don't think that's like a joke. Well, they did play the Saints. The Saints almost. No, I understand. But they but they're beating those teams. Oh, by, You know what I'm saying? They're not. Who they play? They play games. the Bears. So, but they're man. 48 points. The Bears. Aaron Rodgers didn't have 48 points. True. But Carson Palmer had a better day uh, than, than Aaron Rodgers did against the Bears defense. I, mean, I don't know though. On the same exact field. 
I don't know. I think that that is, in my opinion, a little interesting. Which Aaron Rodgers did look really good. Aaron week. Rodgers is still the best quarterback in football. That's the easy I don't, I don't know who questioned that, though. I, not beats me. Right? Uh, That's what I'm saying. Like, who questioned that? Any, uh, <laughs> any just anything that kind of stood out within the first two weeks? You can go first. Um, I mean, you know, little, little stuff stood out. I mean, what's surprising to me is, you know, looking at, looking at Joe's team, the Dolphins, yeah. you know, I expected the Dolphins to be, you know, Contending with with the Patriots for that division, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. at least be second. That makes two of us. Um, and you know, yeah, it's they e- had them first. Yeah, I, nah, I, I expected at least like their their defense to be playing well, because you know Tannehill is exactly. always up and down. You know, you never know. I mean, they gave Tannehill actually defense. has been playing really, really but, good. So yeah, it's but the defense, defense yeah. which you thought the defense would be the one carrying that team. So to, that's a little surprising to me. Yeah. To to be honest, to answer that, I this whole week I was down because they lost to the Jaguars. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm actually looking at. Looking at that game now, it's I, I actually think that's gonna be like a maybe a wake up call for because right. they were questioning Sue if he was actually really trying. Right. A few of our guys went down. I think it, I think it's actually gonna maybe be good, mm-hmm. maybe help us wake up. Yeah. Maybe the defense because the Tannehill's playing great on offense, mm-hmm. and offense stepped it up. I, I just think maybe if that's not a wake up call, then yeah. the Dolphins have no shot. Right. If they don't if they don't turn it up against the Bills, right. they have no shot because if they beat the Bills. Yeah, never know. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, and anything or uh, I kind of like two things. I'm gonna say one thing. You came and debated Antonio Brown is the best wide receiver in football. He's not nice. even close. Nice. Not even close. Wait, who, who they play the 49ers? He puts up though? the best numbers, but what, I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> but I, I think as far as a skill set goes, wait, who, wait, who do you say is the best? I, I still would put Dez and Julio over him as far as a skill set. I know Antonio, what you're trying to say. I know, you know what you're trying I, to say. Like that's Antonio Brown's amazing. Cause, cause Calvin, Don't get me Because Calvin's wrong. nice, but he's they, you know what I'm no, saying. Calvin's like, not, but Calvin hasn't been doing. No, but you know what I'm trying to say though. He's mm-hmm. nice. Like he, okay, say who's a, there's definitely a receiver that's not up to, in the top ten doing better than Calvin this year, I mean, and right. you would still say, oh, Calvin has a better skill set. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. It's not always about. The stats and stuff. I know you're tra- I, his skill set's amazing. It's just the way no, he. Co- it is. No, it absolutely is. Like to me, Antonio Brown. Uh, it, it is. I mean, yeah, you could say Big Ben's throwing to him, but he does a lot. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong at all. I'm just telling you, like how how I presume. It, but I don't think that's wrong at all. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying Antonio Brown's best football. I mean, I, th- I, I think, think he's putting a record. He's gonna put a record numbers. This I, th- I I think he's gonna. Him and, I think Julio comes second. I think I think Antonio Brown breaks the all-time uh, single season reception record. I believe it's at 145 by Marvin Harrison when he was with Peyton. I think he breaks that record. Nine catches in in the first two games, and he has 80 more yards than the next guy, I think it is. He's already in the 300s. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to say, I really believe it. You guys could hate all you want. I really think Brady's coming back with a vengeance, and you could really see it. Honestly, I can't say you're wrong. Tom Brady's MVP. If season eight was over today, which it's not, it's two weeks. But two weeks in, he's the MVP. He's, yeah. he's the MVP. Mm-hmm. He's got the most yards. He's he's literally throwing the ball to two people. I understand. He really is. Edelman, um, not Edelman. I'm sorry. Amendola and like Dobson have stepped oh, up, but yeah. you know, and, and the kid Lewis has done well out of the backfield. But it's him, Gronk, and Edelman. And and you guys are hitting on their defense. So their it's, defense it's, is not good still. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, know, it's, absolutely. If yes, you want to, like, give say, like, even more yeah. credit. Absolutely. I, I, I think that's... I mean, I still think I think he's the best quarterback in football with Aaron Rodgers second, but that's just my assessment. No, I can't, hmm. can't at all agree to that one. That's, he just said my, he's, that's just my assessment. That's no knock on Rodgers. He can't do what Rodgers can do. He can't do what Rodgers can do. The way Rodgers can just move around. It's the abdu- but, that, I mean, I don't think that it's really... That's it's kind of a pointless debate though. Yeah. But um, yeah. all right. What do you say we we we, we look ahead to week three? We we go nice. around the table, we'll give our pickums. Joe, you have you have a schedule in front of you? Could, could, I'm gonna could, do like, right give me a about service over here. Oh. Um, I'll, I'll give the updates of where we're at. Um, since Ant, we we missed him. I don't have his picks, but um, me, Joe, and Jamie are still doing the picks. Um, over the first two weeks, I'm at twelve, and Joe and Jamie have eleven. Um, me and Joe each last week got four games correct. Yeah, I, I do like a pick like thing mm-hmm. on this league. I, I actually had never really added them up. But I had a bad week. Um, and there I, were a lot of they, the upset Browns, Jaguars, Browns, Raiders, Jaguars, and Bucks won the same Ra- week. Yeah, Raiders, Bucks. All they said it's never happened. Right yeah, that's crazy. Well, the, the, the red, no, no one had the Redskins beat. Oh yeah, the Redskins Rams. beating the Rams. Is yeah. Yeah. I didn't have that. After the Rams coming off that big win against Seattle, no one had them losing yeah. to the Redskins. No, I mean. I didn't have the Saints losing to the Bucks. Yeah. 
No, absolutely not. And then and then I try to get cute. Like, I, I, s- I no. said the Bills would win. <laughs> that was you know. I thought, but you they know, they had a little really comeback. They, 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 no, they they, they played well, but I'm I'm saying, you know, I, I thought I thought Seattle right? might win. I'm talking about as far as like my my personal picks. Like I thought Seattle would win. I mean, dude, it's just I mean, that's four 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 games correctly. That shows how crazy I think week two was. Mm-hmm. All right, but uh, all right, let's ready? Pick, let's pick them. Let's let's do it. I'm excited. I think all week right. three is gonna be a fun week two. All They're right. all gonna be start with the game. the one o'clock games. Let's, let's start go. with the Thursday game. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Redskins. Giants. Where's the? G- oh yeah. Also, the last We're team. Is the last team. The last team is Giants, home. Giants home. The last team's home. I'm, so, yeah. all right, Tom, what do you think? All right, I'm, I'm gonna go Giants. I'm go Giants on this one. They're gonna pull away and have a win. Definitely. Yeah. Right. Giants because we have to win. <laughs> I'm gonna agree to that. Cause I I think it's a. It's I think it. we're gonna realize this is the make or break game. Maybe not week. All right. How about how about Odell for a two touchdown game over 100 yards? Odell, I think goes off again. I think I think Odell's about to start. I just Going can't wait till ball. Beeson and Cruz come back. Then that team. Oh, you saw they, who they, they cut? Beeson in a big way. Who? What? They cut Parker. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah who who deserved to be cut? Yeah, absolutely. He had some big drops the first game. I mean, it was so weird. First like, game and second when he got sacked and f- oh, I'm sure fumbled, didn't help him. Preston Parker was wide open <laughs> in no man's land. Yeah. Did you see that? I mean, that could have helped him maybe stand. Yeah. The and then what pissed me off the most was on that fourth down play he threw to Preston Parker. Yeah, but that that's the play that cut him. I think I believe because. He could have stoked a lot of things. That no, 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 but that. no, but that was like the final draw. Like he could have caught. The, like it was a low pass, but I could have made that catch. I gotta give some credit to the former cowboy Harris. He's dogging on re- returns. <laughs> like gets a thirty almost every time. Joe, nice. you got uh, the G. I got as the well. Giants. Yeah. Unanimous to start it off. I like it. <laughs> All right, everyone on the same page, palling around. Who who thinks ready right, this game? Who thinks Andrew Luck's gonna win? Colts Titans. Okay. If Andrew Luck loses yeah, this game, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, <laughs> if Andrew what Luck if he goes off and loses, if Andrew Luck, no, in all honesty, okay, if Andrew Luck has a bad game, in in all honesty, and they lose, when we come in here, they have a bad game. There, if lo- we come in here next Tuesday, I will apologize to you publicly on air for ever saying that he's an elite quarterback. You I apolog- still believe you gotta have to apologize to him and my boy Skip Bayless. Never will ever I apologize <laughs> to Skip Bayless. He does not even deserve to have a job. Yes, he does. But um. Uh, he has to go off. He has to throw for three touchdowns I mean, and 300 yards. The Titans. He has to go off. Johnny Manziel went off <laughs> against the Titans. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are we so, all unanimous on that? Yeah, I mean, Colts. Colts. Come on. It, it's got and you, Yeah? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of hope they win. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah, I mean, like, like... It's not like, oh, wait, it's the Colts versus the Titans. Yeah. The Colts on... Like, it's like, you gotta think they're gonna win this one. They have to it's win. Not like, I don't guarantee a win. Yeah, I don't... Really? Um, no, I don't. Well, who are you taking? I'm taking the Colts. Taking? I'm right. saying I'm not saying oh Colts no matter what. Well, okay. I don't. I, I mean Mario. I, I feel like the Colts good. are definitely gonna win. I don't. Yeah. I mean they are a way too. Confident in that. Yeah, I'm confident. Too. Yeah. Like All I, right. I was also confident the Colts were gonna win this week, but that didn't happen. I actually said the Jets would win. You know what the line actually to that game is? The Colts are only minus three. That's really sad. I'm about to. I'm about to <laughs> never mind. We can't talk about that. <laughs> but you know, but you say the lines like the spread. Yeah. I mean, next people who, who people who are betting bet. Um. We got the Falcons and the Cowboys. Where? In Dallas? Sorry. Yeah, last, sorry. Team. Yeah, last team's home. Oh, what are you, a rookie? <laughs> Man, two teams that don't deserve to be 2-0. I know who I'm going with. I know who I'm going with. What's on to say? <laughs> no, you, Falcons. Right. Falcons. Brandon Wien is not ready this week. Brandon Falcons. I got I to gotta go Falcons. They've been playing. I mean, they, I mean, they, no, they play yeah, great yeah. against I the mean, Giants, but you, Atlanta's so much better like when these yeah, two teams are and Lynn hasn't like super like impressed me in all honesty but I just they're winning it's Matt Ryan against Brandon Whedon you got you have you're throwing out someone like Julio Jones their defense has done a good enough job they're they're a more solid team with more it's even like oh, Matt Ryan it's also yeah Dez is out too which is like yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so many things who's he throwing to yeah, come on. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah this, the only reason is this is like the first week like they're just so discombobulated yeah right now you know it could be tough Tom? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I want to pick Dallas because it's my team. You root for Dallas, but you're yeah. going to pick if you're betting. Maybe. You know, if I'm betting, I mean, I'd probably pick the Falcons. I don't know, you know, we didn't come in and pick his first you, game. Yeah, who you, who you think's going to win? Yeah. The who real, you, pick, the who you picking? I'm picking the Falcons. Okay. Really? Good for you. You know, do you know the first week we did this show? Um, it, it was so weird. The Giants Cowboy game. We said Giants and he said Cowboys. That's 
Romain robbery. We tell you know. We, we, we tell it like yeah. it is. Exactly. I was rooting for the Giants. I'm gonna so tell it how my pick was wrong. Yeah. I'm gonna tell it how it is in this game. Knicks. Fresno State alum Derek Carr <laughs> is gonna go off against Johnny Manziel. Yeah, he is. Raiders. 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 Raiders against Browns. Browns home. Raiders. I have to agree. I definitely have to agree. Derek Carr looking nice. You know, he honestly is. The, yeah. the Raiders, what a bounce back. Because week one couldn't have gone any worse. I mean, no, no offense. He went down, though. No offense to Joe, but Blake Bortles. You can't tell me he didn't have a good game. He's doing good. Yeah, but I'm still going with that. I'm still sticking with, with D Carr. No, I think Derek Carr is better, but I'm just saying no, yeah. Bortles is my boy. No, <laughs> but Derek Carr is the, he's the ultimate man. Come on, man. Yeah, the ultimate man is the guy who's version. John, so you got Johnny Football winning? Of course. Of course, go on. <laughs> Damn. Of course he's going to take. I got Oakland. Nice. I got Oakland. All right. So we got three three to one, right? Yeah. All right. Next game. First Are we writing these down? Are you writing I mean, I, down? I, I, he writes oh, his I down. Oh. I, I keep mine upstairs. Oh, I have mine here. And you wrote yours down? I'll write yours down, too. You I said have... Giants, Colts. You... I think the only thing we disagree was the Browns. Yeah. All right. Wait, you took, you took the Raiders, right? Yeah. Alright, alright, next game. Bengals, Ravens. Wow. Bengals, easily. Yep. Bengals are better than the Ravens by far. They're going to win the division. And anyone who thought they'd finish in fourth place is absolutely idiotic. Wow. Coming at someone's head. I'm completely talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at someone's head. You have, to have, you have to have a weird pick. That was not the one to have. <laughs> I had to go out and look. You did it. <laughs> he took a chance. You gotta, you gotta give him credit. Right. Also, but also the Ravens. Yeah, I also look really dumb saying the Eagles would take this division easily after Week One. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> the so, uh, you know. <laughs> who do you have? Know, the Ravens too missing Trevor Lawrence. Oh, okay. I know they are. It's just oh, they. I feel like they're due, but I mean they're home. Wow. Do you want to actually hit this line? Baltimore is minus two and a half. It's because they're home and they're own two. <sighs> yeah, no, they're due. Already. They are. Who you they picking? might be due. Know, and it's a division Bengals. game and. I'm still going with the Bengals. I like the Bengals. Cincy. Big. Who do you, who do you, who do you big? Mean? I don't big. know about big. Cincy. I mean, that Terrell Sugg thing does suck. So, I'll, I'll go Cincy. Cincy. Great pick. Great right, pick. Right. Stop talking. <laughs> Could we get a new host? No. I want Petey to be a host. All in favor. And <laughs> <laughs> if I, I let that imagine happen. That. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Would, it, would it be a show? Would it be that a show would last two minutes, and then we'd be kicked off air. Just quick update right now. What? Yankees got bases loaded, two outs. Just quick update. Yeah, Mets, Mets are losing, I think. And the Mets are losing four. All right. Team that's... <laughs> Joe lost his face. I think the Nats are losing two. Wait, who's, this, who's pitching? Barrett. Barrett. This, Barrett. this, this next team... That is. This <laughs> next team is easily going to be 2-1. Came off a big win. They're playing a trash team. Jaguars, Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think we all agree who's yeah, going. Come, this on, come on, now. It's yeah. I mean, Jaguars unanimously. I love it, <laughs> I love it guys. All right. Um, can I just say though, if the Jaguars yards. win that game, that would be like the best thing. Yo, the line for this game is uh, New England minus one. What? Playing. <laughs> I was just, I was just, I was just, they're Gillette. Who's making these lines? <laughs> we got Petey making them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next game: Saints, Panthers. Panthers, Super out of respect. Yeah. Panthers. Panthers. Super Cam. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is that wait? Is anyone change their mind if Breeze plays? Panthers. No, nah, I still got Panthers. Right, Panthers at home too. Yeah. Super Cam. Yeah. Um. Then yeah, we got yeah, on this thing here. It says ninety percent chance to win. Guess what? The, the what was it? The Patriots has to win this game. Has to be 99. Oh, has to be 99. 100, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, they're not allowed to say 100. <laughs> Atlanta game was 77 Atlanta, if you're wondering. Mm. That's interesting. And Cleveland uh, is 72% chance to win. Yeah, but it's right. Beat, they're, they don't, beat, they're 72% favorite. At home, probably. That's great. They don't know about Derek Carr. And they're since he's 51% chance to win. Find out about Derek Carr. All right. Um, we got Eagles, Jets. Eagles. Jets. Jets. This is actually yes. tough for me, though. Yes. Because I feel like the Eagles are going to win. Like, they have to win eventually. I'm taking it as a compliment that, that you're thinking about. Wow, the Jets' yeah, D I mean, looking so good. The, no, the Jets' D. Revis looks amazing. Dude, come on. 
When is he Shit, not? She's looking good. <laughs> when he was in ten, like, taking he Jess? wasn't like super like. And I, taking know, I mean, obviously. Yeah. But like, I'm just, I'm just saying. He was still Revis. No, I understand, but I'm just saying like Revis is like. He had to cover 100 percent of that field. No, because you know how people were, were like, oh, Sherman's the best corner thing. That was never a thing in my mind. <laughs> yeah, but to a lot of people it was. Yo, I'm I'm still like, cause uh, I know I have Wait, to you take the Jets or the Eagles. What? You took the Jets. Jets no, I didn't pick yet. Um. Oh. Jets are home. It says Jets 75 percent. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't. You gotta that. respect that. What do you mean? Is it the way they've been playing, their home honestly, and the way they, the Eagles honestly, been playing. It's seventy-two percent Browns. Honestly, the the Demarco Murray's gonna have a, I think, a actually good you game. You think he's gonna be a good game against this defense? I think so. I, I honestly believe what so. We're gonna get thirty yards. Is that a good game? I believe so, but I am I am gonna go with the Jets. I am. Oh wait, well, so this will make you laugh at least a little bit. You see, Demarco's uh, on pace for eighty-eight yards this season. Yeah, <laughs> good year. It's hey, a batter year. Yo. Over a thousand yards the season before. Thank you. Yeah, Boomer ran said. for a hundred yards in the first seven games. Yeah, last year. Like on pace for eighty-eight. Lashawn well, McCoy would have had more than that. Lashawn McCoy's nice. He's going to score touchdowns. <laughs> nah, yeah, they take him out. Exist. They're like our red zone out. Even now. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Said, what? Carl's Williams, like, who is that? Uh, Carl's with a K who too. Are you? <laughs> Tyron Taylor's hands in the ball. What? Who's <laughs> next? We got. All right, we got Bucks Texans. Hmm. Ryan Mallett for the win. Famous Jameis. I like the Texans. I'm gonna go Texans too. Definitely Ryan Mallett for the win, man. He he played he played a he played close game against against the Panthers. That has Houston 78. percent Solid. Nah, yeah, I have the Texans. I, I, I They're Ryan 0 2. Wins. The Buccaneers, I don't know. They might have had just a really good game against Saints. Well, the Saints are terrible. Oh, the Saints are terrible. So yeah, I'm going Texans. All right. Moving on. Chargers, Vikings. Oh. Chargers. That's actually a tough one. Chargers are away, if you didn't know. The Chargers are away. No, I'm just saying, if you didn't register that. Wow. That's tough. Philip Rivers for the Again, big, two, Phillip, two Phillip shows. Rivers, big day to Keenan Allen. Yo, turn my ears, man. It's hope. It's hope there. Give me one point left. All right, who, who's got? Who's got? I said Chargers. Chargers. Yeah, Vikings. Vikings. I do not Vikings. trust this Vikings team. Did you hear about the the Vikings mascot? Yeah, yeah. He wow. wanted twenty. He wanted twenty k a, a game for like the like next. He rides 10 on years. a motorcycle and stuff. Yeah. There, like. and they were like, "No," and he left. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah, no more. Yeah, he's no, gone. He's, he's gone. Yeah. Um, this game, Chargers. This this thing has Vikings sixty three percent. I'm going Chargers. I'm gonna give AP the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna go with it. I'm so gonna go hopefully, gets touchdown. First touchdown of the season. Let's hope. That was great when he got that one. Do you really have faith in this Vikings defense real quick? I mean, this Vikings team. Sorry. Um, in all honesty. I end up second, but I think the Chargers are Nah, I'm not like. I don't see anything good about besides. I don't know, but they just like, they did impress against the Lions. You have to give them that. They they did. They did impress against the Lions. It's tough to tell. I think by the Lions, they played the Chargers. And and they played them real close. And then, but then like. the, it's tough. They can't do anything you already said Vikings. You don't want to change. No, no, what I'm saying is like the, the, the four, they can't do anything against the 49ers and the Call 49ers. A day. Look, look <laughs> yeah. as bad as they are against yeah. the Steelers. Like, yeah. It's tough to, to tell, but I'm gonna go with the Vikings. I think AP goes for a day. I think AP goes for. A day. He did have a day last because yo, Jim Bernard ran for over 100 last week. Again and against the Chargers, I'm saying if Giovanni yeah. Bernard's running for over 100, AP. I think AP's gonna have a day. You got a point. I don't know. I just feel like the Chargers. I'm no, just I don't have a feeling on that. Yeah. Next, move, moving into yeah, the, the Steelers. Steelers, Rams. Steelers. That defense got See, exposed. Just, <laughs> and the Rams are home, too. Uh, <laughs> Nick Foles is going to have a day. And you know how the Rams so. play at home. Beat Peyton last year at home. Just beat the Seahawks at home. Beat the Seahawks last year at home. I'm going Rams. I gotta still go the Steelers. No, off, off. Le'Veon Bell and, and Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell. I forgot about that. Steelers. No. Nah. He has to have a big game. <laughs> Unless we're done, Ant. <laughs> so we're all going Steelers? Yeah. Except Tom? Tom's got the Rams. All right. The Ramadamis. Now we're going to move to 4 or 5 game. It's 49ers Cardinals. And I'm I'm just going to go. I think Cardinals. everyone's going to say yeah. Cardinals. Cardinals, too. Cardinals all around. Yeah. Cardinals easily because the 49ers are as bad as I said. We go into the flu. Watch Vernon Davis. Three touchdowns. Never. Never in his life got three touchdowns. He was nice at one point. At one point. Like two seasons. No. He, was, he was nice. Terrible. All right. All right. Okay. Moving in. Uh, 425 game. Bills, Dolphins. Bills. Bills. I'm going Dolphins. Miami's home. Ryan Tanny. Ryan Tannehill is way better than Tyrod Taylor. 
and Ryan Tannehill. The line over here says the Dolphins are minus two and a half. This has Buffalo fifty nine percent. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a good game. I got that game is in Miami, right? Yeah, it's in Miami. I got I got Ryan Tanny. All right, let's move on. Hopefully they win. A big game. For yeah, for 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 a fan, like I think that's a big game. If, if I want to see, you know. I mean, this game, this next game, is honestly going to be the toughest game out here. Both 0-2 teams. Both 0-2 teams, man. You got a guy fresh fresh out of Notre Dame starting. Bears, Seahawks. When Jimmy Clawson <laughs> wins this game and makes the Seahawks 0-3, I don't even know what I was going to Seahawks. You know what? If they lose this game, Period. done. pay him. Pay him. Cam, Cam, Cam said that <laughs> every single time Sherman gets burned. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He was wearing that Rogers uh, jersey. Wait, on is there like a thing where he becomes a free agent at some point, or is that does that? Sound all dumb? I know wait, is wait, that isn't he still in the contract? That's how, that's what's confusing all me. All I know is the He's team still that I contract. constantly hear him like rumored, like if they're gonna trade him, is the Giants. That's why I'm hoping. <laughs> I know. That's why I know. That's why you're asking. So yes, it, the line for this game is Seattle Cam minus Cam sixteen. It should be like 24. Yeah. We yeah. can't chance over 2-0. Oh. All right. Win doesn't catch that fast. <laughs> I don't know about that. That middle line. But you need, if you had John Beeson, you might be 2-0. Oh. Yeah, if we have Beeson, we're 2-0. Oh. Facts. One more game. And Chief. honestly, it's another big game for this for the Chiefs. For the Chiefs, another big game. Another. Chiefs, Packers, Packers home. I, you can't go against Aaron Rodgers. He's not throwing you a pick can't. in Lambo. I, I didn't go against him last week. I'm gonna go against. I'm not gonna go against him this week. I took Peyton. Now I'm gonna take my boy Aaron. That's it. Wait, wait did we do the Denver game? Oh, we didn't do that yet. What? That's Monday. Oh no, yeah, we missed the Broncos game. Yeah, somewhere. Broncos is um Sunday night. Uh, Detroit. Wait, oh, yeah. We'll get back to yeah. it. Hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to. So we're on Kansas City, Green Bay, Green Bay home. Green this Bay is Monday night. Five percent. I can't go. He's at Lambo. I, 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 Did you it, see that throw he made he, to James Jones? Yes, but I'm, I'm just saying if the, game, Sherman. if the game was at our head, I would say the Chiefs. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, you took them against my boy, and my boy won. Pain. Yeah, your boy got the ball handed. You, you got the game handed to him. No, how? He did by Jamal Charles. Jamal how? Charles handed him the game. How? How? Twice. He played a great game. Pain. He one threw mistake. a pick six again. One mistake. But did you see one what happened? One mistake. After? He got off to a terrible shot. He keeps over. He had a good standards. fourth quarter. His touch did you? His... When he was on, look at him. He was on, and he won the game for them. <sighs> wow. The Yankees couldn't even get anything with bases loaded. No. It's two two with the seventh. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Fans throw... of baseball. Like Marco Estrada and Luis Servino. And I'm gonna somehow come away with no win in that game. Oh, um. So, so, oh, I didn't make a pick. He didn't make a pick. I, got, I, got I took the pack. Who you see? You taking? Yeah, I gotta take my Lambo. Yeah. Packed. If it wasn't a Lambo, I'm telling you, the Chiefs would have won. Yeah, I'll take them. I think Kansas City still wins that division. Are you taking who? Chiefs? Um, no, I'm taking Packers. I just said Chiefs still won that division. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. That, that, I mean, that defense is good. Let's backtrack to Sunday night. Broncos, Lions. Yeah, the best defense besides the Jets. Broncos, easily. They got Broncos. Broncos. Yeah, Bronx. Yeah. And they have to. They have to win. The thing game. is, like, you want. I want to see the Broncos. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's pain. They got him. But if he was to lose a game, it would. I. I wouldn't. Exp- I, like, you know, I would think the Lions. There are ways. Or a I team mean, like Staff- the Lions would do it. Stafford's not there. I don't see anything happen. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with Payton. Amir- but I'm not gonna be surprised if they lose, though. I feel like. Mm. So that's just, I just think, how I feel I about this game. I'm. I'm going basis more on their defense. I think. Yeah, the, I mean, well oiled machine right there. Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I'm not picking Peyton. I'm picking no, the I'm defense. I'm picking the defense. <clears throat> of course, I'm taking Payton. And say? that's you said the Broncos too. Yeah, and that's basically right. it. Well, that week is three. uh, that's all the time we have. I mean, we kind of just keep doing this every week. We just kind of go over time. We kind of do what we want. We do it for you guys. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> you, you all care. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't have the viewers in front of me. I know Big Cons is watching. Uh, Big Rye, if you're with him. But uh, outside of that, I'm not really sure who's on. But uh, we thanks do, everybody. We do a little wrap up, a little wrap up. Yeah, with Tom, you want Tom? You got something to say? I was, I was giving a little. We got the guest here. Let's a little, go. A little shout out to uh to Ole Miss getting that big win against Bama. We talked about that Walsh yeah, on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Big win. And where they move up to, like two, right? They moved up to three. 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 Tied with TCU for three. Got first place votes. And then a uh, big shout out to my boy Nick Williams. Hey. He had a couple catches in a couple games. I, uh, he had one reception for twelve yards against the Giants. Nice. Uh, well, I'll Listen, give you that one. I did actually watch it. Nick Williams, all right? I like it, Tom. I like it. Let's <laughs> yeah. for you. I like it. Anyone else want, want to throw a wrap up quick? 
You don't have anything to say? I mean, I'm here all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd May- Mayweather, TBE. It's not a bad way to end it. I think I'll wrap this up by saying. Oh, wait, wait. I got a good one. LGY. Let's go, Yankees. Fair enough. Um, I do want to say this. Uh, in a college football note, because because you got me uh, excited over there, Tom. One, <laughs> let's go fighting Irish. Two, Leonard Fournette is the best running back in college football. Just want to say, I had LSU and nice. Ohio State in the final this year. Really? I'm excited. Ohio State, though, does look bad. But, guys, that's all the time we have. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Joe, Ant, Walsh, Petey's back next week. We'll see you guys then. <laughs>